Hello, this is Mighty Owl. Whoa, look at this equation. 347,295 divided by 3. Yikes, that's a big number. Will you have a remainder or not? Well, before we get to that, let me show you some cool shortcuts when it comes to dividing big numbers. Have you ever noticed patterns when you multiply numbers? Let's list some of the multiples of twos. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22. Take a look at the last digit of each number. Can you spot a pattern? When you count by two or multiply by two, the last digit is either 2, 4, 6, 8, or 0. And this means that the number is always even. Any even number can be divided by 2 and not have any remainders. Another way of saying that is it's divisible by 2. Uh, let's try this out. Which of the following numbers cannot be divided evenly by 2? 24, 798, 825, 702. 24 ends in 4. Uh, so that's even and can be divided by 2. 798 has an 8 as the last digit. That makes it even. Same goes with 702. It ends in 2, an even number again. 825 ends with a 5. Wait a second, that's not an even number. So 825 will have a remainder when it's divided by 2. There's the answer. But what about 3? Is there a divisibility rule for 3? Well, this one's a little different. A number is divisible by 3 if the sum of its digits is a multiple of 3. Let's take 12, for example. We already know that 12 is divisible by 3 because it is the product of 3 and 4. So using our shortcut, if we take the digits 1 and 2 and we add them up, we get 3. So 3 is a multiple of 3. But let's try this with some bigger numbers. Which of the following numbers is divisible by 3? First we have the number 3763. Let's add up the digits. 3 plus 7 is 10. 10 plus 6 is 16. 16 plus 3 is 19. Well, the sum of all these digits is 19, which is not a multiple of 3. So 3,763 is not divisible by 3. Well, the next number is 2,748. Let's add up those digits. 2 plus 7 is 9. 9 plus 4 is 13. 13 plus 8 is 21. Is that a multiple of 3? Yes. And that means 2,748 is also divisible by 3. And here's something mighty cool. The multiplication of 5s. Let's count by fives. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. What do you notice about how these numbers end? Correct, all of the numbers end in 5 or 0. So when a number is multiplied by 5, it'll always end in 5 or 0. And this also means that if a number ends in 5 or 0, it can be divided evenly by 5. Well, let's try it out. Which of the following numbers are divisible by 5? Well, to solve the problem, you need to find the number that ends with a 5 or 0 in the ones place. Can you spot it? Yep! 3,940 is the only number that has a 5 or 0 in the ones place, and so it is the only one divisible by 5. And the last divisibility rule? How to understand if a number can be divided by 10. Let's start by counting by tens to see if we can spot a pattern. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. When you look at that, all the numbers end in a zero. But take a look at this table. Wow, these are some mighty numbers. But let's check to see if they are divisible by any of the numbers in the table together. Okay, 5,974 ends in four. Four. 4 is even, so it is divisible by 2. Let's mark it. Next, we can add the digits to see about divisibility of 3. We get a sum of 25. Well, that's not a multiple of 3, so it's not divisible by 3. 
And since it does not end in a 5 or a 0, it's not divisible by 5 or 10. So 5,974 is divisible only by 2. Moving on to 285,750. The last number is 0. This makes it divisible by 2, 5, and 10. Great work! Time to check divisibility by 3, though. Addition time! When we add the digits together, we get 27. 27 is a multiple of 3, since 3 times 9 is 27, so yes, 285,750 is divisible by 3. And last is 347,295. The last number is 5. Well, 5 is not even, and this tells us that it is divisible by 5, but not by 2 or by 10. Now we can add the digits together to check if it's divisible by 3. And when we add the digits together, we get 30. 30 is a multiple of 3. So 347,295 is divisible by 3 and 5. Wait a second. That's the same mighty number we started with today. And now we can answer the question. 347,295 will not have any remainders when it is divided by 3, because it is divisible by 3. Awesome job! Now let's review. If the number ends in an even number, it is divisible by 2. If it ends in 5 or 0, it's divisible by 5. When the number ends in 0, it's also divisible by 10. To determine if the number is divisible by 3, add the digits together to see if it's a multiple of 3. Wow! You did great with all this division. We looked at some mighty tricks to help check your work and learned the divisibility rules for 2, 3, 5, and 10. And with that, see you in our next video lesson.